thermal mass versus geothermal climate battery? Uh, why not both? Check it, take a look. I got this gravity feed water system feeding into my greenhouse. Now, this is a work in progress, but a lot we're asking about snow load. There is no snow load on this greenhouse. Zero. It sheds 100%, and then you just remove it in the front. It's run on two 25-watt panels. That's the geothermal system. You can hear it? There's cold air coming out of here from six feet below me. It's dropping in through this chimney and goes through 100 feet of pipe. It's then exhausted here. And that stores latent heat in the ground and humidity for later tonight. And we have two different ones, one on each side. You hear that humming? These systems are on 25 watt panels and look at the cloud cover. Over 50%. Now let's talk about thermal mass. So that's geothermal heat. And this hot air that's going down these chimneys is going underground and warming the ground. So at night you can come here and feel the ground. It's warm. So that comes up into the greenhouse. Now thermal mass is the cheapest thing you can add to your greenhouse. We have 250 gallons of water in the ground. 300 more I've stacked on top. And now I'm filling it with the gravity feed outside there at the tractor. I got some spigots on here so we can use them for watering. But now that we have water, I'm going to utilize thermal mass. It's the cheapest way to warm your greenhouse and keep it warm at night. So these are black recycled tubs. The cheapest way to go. Here, let me get in here for you. Tough Stuff products, 100% recycled. They're 60 bucks on sale and they hold 110, 110 gallons. Pretty cheap. So we have about 450 gallons of thermal mass now in this tiny greenhouse, which should keep the temperature way up. And I might even stack another one up top there. We'll see how it goes. Now, the object of this greenhouse exclusively is for peppers and uh, tomatoes, as well as eggplants. You can't grow these outside at the elevation we're at ever. So, look at these chilies. Oh, my. So it's critical to keep the temperature warm at night so that these amazing things can ripen in this environment. Holy macaroni. So we're using thermal mass. It's the cheapest way to go. We're snacking along the way. Why wouldn't you? We're going to throw some fish maybe in here and plants, but I've been told you can't really put fish in galvanized. We'll see how it goes. We're also going to put some thermometers in this water, but let's do a little temp check. The minimum last night was only 51 in here, 46 outside. So that's a difference of five degrees. We're going to try to get that up with this thermal mass, with the thermal mass experiment. So thermal mass is cheap. Uh, you can keep a greenhouse in any environment above freezing if you put 5,000 gallons of water in it. You could also have a colossal flood. Um... 
but that's just, you know, me. So this is, uh, I'm going to be setting up some other greenhouses that utilize way more thermal mass, meaning mostly water, now that we have a well and access to it. Ow! <laughs> and, uh... And then we'll just be increasing abundance in here. That's all this is going to be done. So thermal mass is important and it's cheap. Costs about a dollar a gallon and a 2,000 gallons of water in a greenhouse will make, will change the zone you're in five times. So if you're in zone five, it'll make it zone 10. It's that amazing. And then you add a little bit of geothermal heat storage. And we haven't done a full year cycle, but we're going to see if we can grow almost all year round in here. Just with the little bit we have. We started in March, and let's see if we can go to March. Follow us along. And I hope you got a little something about thermal mass and geothermal heat. We'll be doing more videos like this, so stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Share this with like-minded people. And start growing food. Because food is free when you grow it. And it has no pesticides, higher nutrition, and it's just right here for the taking. Oh my God, I'm going to take it. Oh my God, I took it. Thanks for watching.